I started with Wealthfront in July of 2019 and back then they just recently released a new service or feature called the cash accounts which is basically a high yield savings account and when that started they were offering interest rates of 2.24% and have steadily increased that rate to 2.57% APY and because of that a lot of people jumped on the Wealthfront bandwagon and moved their funds to the new platform but due to the economic impact of the pandemic the Federal Reserve drastically cut their interest rates and because of this Wealthfront was forced to also decrease their interest rates and an update on April 19th has finally pushed me to move my funds or savings out of the platform however during the same time they also released a great update for their services and that made me want to stay on the platform and those two things are what we're going to talk about in this video hey guys if you are new to the channel my name is Dredd and I post personal finance and dividend investing videos and currently I am documenting my journey in paying off my student loans so if you're interested in seeing how everything unfold or just want to show your support then subscribe to the channel like this video and then share this video now with that out of the way let's get back to the main thing so on april 19th wallfront announced that they're going to decrease their interest rates on the high yield savings accounts that they offer or cash accounts if you'd like to call that to the lowest it's ever been at 0.10 APY. So as you can imagine, from 2.57% down to 0.10% is basically 96% decrease in just two years. That just goes to show you how big of an impact this pandemic has caused to the economy. But despite that, I'm not gonna lie though, Wealthfront has done an amazing job in serving its customers. In March of 2020, they decreased their interest rates to 0.26%, but a month later, they were able to find a way to increase that interest rates to 0.35%. And that was due to the fact that they found a partner bank willing to pay higher interest rates on the deposits that they make. But unfortunately, that was a year ago and the deal that allowed them to be able to offer 0.35% interest rates for one year is now gone. So again, Wealthfront was forced to lower their interest rates and because of that, I decided to act fast and move out my funds into a much better savings account that currently gives a higher rate. And the bank that I have been eyeing for a while now is Ally Bank. Currently, Ally offers 0.5% APY on their savings accounts and if you think about it that is 0.4 percent higher than Wealthfront and you know I didn't want to waste any time so I've already moved my emergency savings and my tax money into their platform and yes if you're wondering about it I am rate chasing on my savings accounts but for me I think it's worth it for example if I kept ten thousand dollars in Wealthfront for 30 days with 0.10 percent APY at the end of that 30 days I will only generate interest of around 82 cents. But if I move that same amount to Ally Bank for 30 days with 0.50% interest rate, at the end of that 30 days, I will be generating $4.10 in interest. Now let's make it even more realistic and consider the time frame that it takes for me to transfer my money from Wealthfront to Ally Bank which is probably around five days so let's just use that number so maybe only 25 days right? At the end of that 25 days I would still be making $3.41. Now I know you might be thinking about what if the rate changes the next month? Now, if that happens, that is totally okay with me. It's only natural that banks lower their rate in order to stay profitable and operating, especially in this type of environment. I think the only time that this move will not be worth it is if Ally decides to lower their interest rates below 0.10% APY, which I think is totally not possible. Ally might actually lower the interest rate, but not in a couple of days, probably around like a month or two, because for the past two years, Ally have been doing this thing where they lower their interest rates from 0.10 to 0.20 in only a month or two. And the last time that they dropped their rates was in mid-December of 2020 from 0.60% to 0.5 to what it is now. And it's already been three months and we still have not yet heard from them about lowering their rates below that level. Now, this is just me. I'm guesstimating that they might decrease their interest rates probably around this May or in June. I don't know. And if they were going to lower it at some point, then they will probably just lower it the same levels that they have done in the past, which is around 0.10% to 0.20%. So basically for now, I'm just sticking with Ally for both the savings account that I have moved. So for the last part here, am I saying goodbye to Wealthfront? Well, no, not yet. While the rate drop was actually bad news, there's some good news as well that they have released. So Wealthfront released this new feature for their cash accounts called self-driving money. Now, according to Wealthfront, with self-driving money, your cash account allows you to instantly organize your cash into categories and route your money exactly where you want it so you can effortlessly manage your finances from end to end. Basically, they will automate your money from the point you got your money into their cash account 
down to the point where you separate them into categories or buckets if you like to call it that way. You can set conditions or parameters when moving your money around so that you can be as hands off as you can with your finances. So let's just say that I put $2,000 into their cash accounts and by the time that $2,000 appears on that cash account, the automation will kick in. So let's just say that I've set some specific parameters there. So 500 will automatically go into my savings category, another 500 will go into a bills category and then another 500 will go into the student loans category and then another 500 will go automatically into the rent category now these categories are pretty much like suggested and recommended by wealthfront themselves but there is also an option where you can create your own categories with just a simple tap now if you're like me who likes automation then this feature is a great great way as well to automate your finances especially if you're not good with money you know having somebody or something to kind of like automate your finances and take care of it for you is such a great service. It's very convenient and a no-brainer. Now, to be honest, I like watching my money, but I sometimes dread the time when I have to move my money around. And at least with this feature, it's already done for me and I can focus on other things instead, such as revenue generating activities, looking for other opportunities, or maybe just looking for some activities or things that will help improve myself. But if the thought came across your mind, since I've already moved my funds to Ally Bank, What's the use of this, you know, keeping a Wealthfront account? Now, I intend to keep my Wealthfront accounts because I'm planning to save for other categories. I'm saving money for travel, which I might be using next year or until the time that we are able to travel more freely, you know? So who knows when this pandemic will end, but when the time comes, at least I'll have money saved up already. And another category that I am planning for is buying a used car, which I might be doing in the next year or two. I really don't know, but that is pretty much one of the plans that I have. I want to buy a used car for now. I'd rather not buy a brand new car because I just want to, you know, not spend too much money and just really get into the environment of, you know, buying a car. I don't know how to explain it, but you kind of get my gist. So I'm going to test out Wealthfront's latest feature and use my separate savings goals as my test subjects and kind of like see where it takes me. So what's your take on Wealthfront's latest rate change and also their latest feature addition? Are you actually using Wealthfront for your HYSA or maybe you're using another like Ally Bank as well? What are your thoughts? Leave them them down below in the comment sections. And if you found this video very helpful, please do me a favor and like this video, share this video as well, and then subscribe to the channel because this helps. Any actions that you make for this video, in, even for the entire channel as a whole, helps with growing the channel as well. And I'm also on Instagram at Daily Dread. Please add me there and also we can chat. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.